The Epic Games Store is a digital video game storefront operated by Epic Games. It launched in December 2018. Topic: <laughs> Software The store is available on the web and through Epic Games Launcher application. It does not have features such as achievements or virtual reality headset support. Epic's own games will be exclusively available through its store, and the company plans to fund developers to release exclusively through their store. Epic plans to offer one free game every two weeks through 2019. Topic: History. Prior to the Epic Games Store, the principal digital distribution channel for personal computer games was Valve's Steam, though other competitors like GOG.com, Origin and Uplay existed. Valve took a 30% revenue cut of all games sold via Steam, which at the time Steam launched was comparable to other digital distribution networks like the App Store. In August 2017, Epic's Tim Sweeney suggested that 30% was no longer a reasonable cut, and that Valve could still profit if they cut their revenue share to 8%. In early December 2018, Epic Games announced that it would open a digital storefront to challenge Steam. Epic planned to compete with Valve on game developers' share of profits, 88% with Epic, against 70% with Valve. Epic would also forego the standard 5% revenue fee normally applied to games using the Unreal Engine if they were published on the Epic Game Store. By Epic's calculations, the storefront's reduced portion of profits was sufficient to be profitable. Epic also said that it wouldn't impose digital rights management (DRM) restrictions on games sold through its platform. The store opened days later, on December 6, 2018, as part of the Game Awards with a handful of games and a short list of upcoming titles. The store is expected to open for macOS and Windows platforms before expanding to Android and other platforms. Prior to the store's launch, its director of publishing strategy, Sergey Galyonkin, had run Steam Spy, a website that collected Steam usage data from public profiles to create public sales statistics. He ran the site as a side project, but used it to learn what developers would want from Epic's store, namely fewer social elements and less visual clutter. The store will be hand curated until it opens to developer submissions in mid 2019. Once at this point, Epic's staff will still need to approve games for the store, a process that mostly focuses on the technical side of things and general quality. According to Tim Sweeney, Epic does not plan to allow adults only mature content on the store. Topic: Reaction The Epic Games Store was announced a few days after Valve had revealed a change in the Steam revenue sharing model that reduced Valve's take, reducing their revenue cut from 30% to 25% after a game made more than $10 million, and to 20% after $50 million. Several indie game developers expressed concern that this change was meant to help keep larger AAA developers and publishers and did little to support smaller developers. As such, when the Epic Games Store was announced, several journalists saw it as potentially disruptive to Steam's current model. Some developers have already announced plans to release games that they were planning to release through Steam now exclusively through the Epic Games Store, or to have time exclusivity on Epic's storefront before appearing on other services. <laughs>